First of all, let me welcome the Abortion Access Fund players out here. <laughs> we are going to be the holiday guests at Christmas, and we are going to bombard Erica with the questions that you guys will probably be bombarded with as well. Uh, normally, this is where people would where I, at least before I start working here, would just grab another beer and be like, yep, 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 and that's it. So we're going to help you with some of those questions. Uh, and we're wearing our festive holiday outfits. So, um, almost ready? We got some punch? Let me get my Christmas sweat. So, all right, and uh, while I get ready, and scene. <laughs> Okay, now honey, listen, you know that I'm pro-choice, okay? And I, I support you, but I just cannot condone, you know, ripping a baby right out of the womb and killing it, which is what they're doing in New York and Virginia. Uh, first, that is not what those laws did. Uh, when someone is born and alive, they receive the full protections of the law and nobody anywhere is trying to change that. Uh, so, listen, it sounds like you care deeply about babies. I do, too. Uh, so we have that in common. Um, I care deeply about the health and well-being of mothers and babies, and so do the doctors who provide abortion care. Think about the doctors and nurses you know. Does this sound like a real thing? No, although I do know one nurse who's a real bitch. But other than that, they're pretty top-notch. Listen. People are trying to rile you up and get you to support nonsense. Ooh. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> well, I've heard of people who are eight months pregnant and get an abortion just to look good in a bikini. What? Well, uh, first off, it's people who are eight months pregnant look great in bikinis. Woo! I think we can all agree on that. Um, that's just facts. Uh, but the idea that the decision whether or not to bear children is often frivolous or spontaneous is pervasive and flawed, okay? Truly, does this sound like anyone you know? And why do you think these deeply flawed ideas we have about people have managed to persist? But can't fetuses feel pain at 20 weeks? Well, we really have no idea when a fetus could contemplate and understand pain, but the consensus of the medical community based on scientific evidence is that the physical structures and neural cir circuitry required to feel pain are not developed until much later in pregnancy. Fetal pain at 20 weeks is a myth based on junk science that's been exploited to get you to vote for some politician, and that sucks. But I was watching Dr. Phil, and I heard about a baby that was born at 19 weeks, and it survived, so. Wow. I, you know, I haven't I heard. That. I saw that. Yeah. I haven't heard about that. That sounds very premature, but I'm not a doctor. It sounds like the parents really wanted that pregnancy to end in a baby, and I imagine that situation was terrifying for the parents, but I'm glad they were able to get care. I'm just not sure what that has to do with abortion, though. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of people regret their abortions. A lot. A lot. Well, you know, the risk of regret pervades all of medicine, actually. Uh, people regret knee surgeries, heart surgeries, as much or more than they do their abortions. And people have actually studied this. Abortion has a lower risk of regret, actually, than medicine more generally, which is wild, right? You know, often people might regret the circumstances that led to their needing medical care, including abortion but much less often they might even regret the decision itself and think if they could go back in time, they might make a different choice, but we owe patients that dignity of that risk. The risk of regret is not a good reason to take a safe medical choice away. And did you know that the Facebook group I Regret Having Children has 17,000 members? Oh. It's true. Oh. It's true. Yeah. That's a dark place. Check that out sometime. I, I don't regret most of my kids, though. So. First, of all, first of all, my problem with this green bean casserole, they didn't put the crunchy onions on top. Crunchy onions. Let's crucial. agree on that. Secondly, uh, shouldn't they just put the baby up for adoption? I was uh, adopted, and uh, if I were aborted, I wouldn't be here. You know, the decision whether or not to carry and birth a child and the decision whether or not to parent that child are actually two different decisions. That said, most people who bear children do so to raise them. 
In fact, did you know that only 2% of babies born are placed up for adoption because people so overwhelmingly want to raise their own children? Families want to stay together. Our focus should be on securing resources so that that can happen. Also, you know, 60% of people who have abortions are already parents, so abortion is often a parenting decision. People want to make sure they can take care of the children they already have before adding to their families. And, you know, we don't often talk about how many children are healthy and alive because of abortion. Because when women are supported to make their own reproductive health care decisions, children and families thrive. Okay. Okay. That is compelling. But aren't there, I mean, there have been so many advances in science and what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? Medical, <laughs> ne neocon, neo neoliberal, neonatal, neonatal science is so advanced now that we don't even need abortions. Why do we even need them anymore? Well, most people aren't getting an abortion because of a medical issue with the pregnancy. So, but for those that are, I can assure you that doctors offer patients treatment and care that is appropriate. If a pregnant person really wants to continue a pregnancy and anything can be done to treat a fetal indication, They'll do that, but that's really separate from anything having to do with abortion, and I can't imagine that you or I would have greater expertise in that area than the pregnant person and their medical teams, and we should probably stay out of that decision-making process. What do you think? But I heard ectopic pregnancies can be re-implanted. I heard that too. That's yeah, bad science. So that I can unequivocally say is total nonsense and anti-choice propaganda. So. First, maybe consider checking the source of your news. But ectopic pregnancies unequivocally cannot be reimplanted. In fact, the only treatment for an ectopic pregnancy is abortion care. So Alex Jones is wrong? <laughs> okay, and honestly, Karen's my source of news, so maybe I gotta stop on that. Well, why aren't you wearing a Christmas sweater? Yeah, and why aren't you wearing a Christmas sweater? Because I love abortion providers. Hey! 